Yeah. This time it's Ace King of Spades. It's ridiculous. Ace King suited on the button. It's almost unfair. Give a guy like Chidwick such a good hand. Yours, the King Six suited. Newcomer to us out of the Netherlands. Pretty impressive tournament We're track really record, though. <laughs> Almost three and a half million dollars in live tournament earnings. Pretty impressive wardrobe as yeah, well. Off so. dapper. Oh no, oh, and he jams oh. here. He's gonna run right into it. As Chidwick does indeed have the goods. Test spot. Facing the button, who is the chip leader? Somebody who is as aggressive as Chidwick. Rouse is going to need a lot of help. But if he does find a way, we got a whole new ball game. And he'd be the chip leader. King 10 3. No diamonds. Looking like it's going to need to be a six for yours. Deuce on the turn. That six needs to come in or his first time at a Poker Go Studio final table will be very short-lived. Say a little prayer. Why not? Oh, oh it's close wow. enough. It's worked. Seven on the river. It's a good game to Joris Rouse. His third cash of the Poker Go Cup. He is out in six for almost 42K. One million. Savaro going with the King Queen. Oh boy, keep an eye. This is going to be very close for Chidwick. Let's see if anybody else wakes up with a hand. Saliba would have gone with it had Savaro not beaten him to it, I imagine. Seven's good enough for a little bit more than 20 bigs. It's an opportunity, obviously, to knock out several. Yeah, it's going in. It is indeed. King, queen versus sevens. Here we go. Huge you leave me flip. With a little change. Savaral wins, he could get up to 2.5 million if Chidwick wins. Be one of the biggest chip leads that we've seen at a final table with four left. Jack, nine, six. Nine. Opens up a couple more outs. A nine would open up even more. Savra looking for a king, queen, or a 10 at the moment. It is wow. a nine on the turn. <laughs> wow, fucking card over eight. <laughs> looking for a 10, a king, a queen, or a jack. River card. It is a queen on the river. And Sam Savra doubles up through One Stephen Chidwick. Time. Saliva would have played the deuces. I'm just See, saying. Those aces Jeff, would have I, been cracked. I don't know how many free lessons I'm going to continue to give on these broadcasts, but you never let them go. Uh oh. King on the turn, which is some trouble for Zaki after he goes check, check. Yeah, we got major problems if we're Justin Zaki. Savril, extremely tricky with these aces, checking back. He's going to come for a, a ton of these chips. Let's see what the sizing is here. Pretty small, 120. Justin, happy to call. Can't blame him. We have a 
check back on the flop by Savril set this whole thing up, allowing his opponent to catch up to the river. The river is a three, wow. making a straight for Savril, perhaps allowing an exit path to become available for Justin. Savrol looks for 330k on the river. Saki knows this is a great card for Savrol to be bluffing with as well. Representing some sort of ace-x holding. Of course, we can see it's two aces. He thinks he may have just gotten unlucky. Check, check, flop. Check, called a small turn bet. What to do here versus about half pot. Spot. Can he find the fold? He's three time extensions in for an additional 30 seconds every time. Uh, but has plenty of them. You has can't the blame him either. Yeah. Up against Sabral, who can absolutely show up at bluffs. He's going to make a great yeah. fold, it looks like it. Uh -oh. Eh? oh no. <laughs> Deliberating. There's the fall. Ah. Uh, Umberto Brennan. Umberto, that's right, Jeff. One for th three. I met Umberto at last year's World Series. And he said, uh, he says, I remember meeting you back when you were at ESPN 2004. I'm like, that wasn't me. <laughs> Good to see you. Well, maybe were you holding? Oh, boom King oh, Jack wow. nine. Savarol just flops the goods in some trouble, perhaps for Justin. What a with Jackson the straight draw. Zaki's final table thus far, continuous second best. Oh, the ace of hearts arrives on the turn. Still the goods for Savro, but some more hope emerges for Zaki. Fighting chance. Wow. Check, check, four Whoa. hearts on the river. Oh, Savro is not going to be pleased after he sees this. And the check on the river. Savro betting 375k, not going to be thrilled with what comes next. Okay, 
basically. Looks like Zaki's in line for the full double. did not call yet he knows okay this is never a bluff very much concerned about that flush studying the board realizing that jack x of hearts or king x of hearts could have been there all along but maybe somehow the queen high flush Six sixty. not even 300k more We can have the same hand. Maybe you can have nines. Oh, fuck, take the money. Oh. Yep, he will take the money. Nice hand. Huge for Zaki. It's heart, heart. 700. 700,000. Salute, so let me see. Most of it here with the ace nine. Is and Zaki oh. has two jacks. Nice timing to look down at these. Saliba is going to be in a little trouble. Cool. Cool. Calls here. Savaral out of the way. Saliba 35k back and Effectively, here we go. Sorry. Justin says, let's just get it in. He bets, and Saliba does flop top pair. So a good start, but it'll need some more help. Two of them. Very good. Looking for an ace or nine is Justin Saliba. If he gets there, he's up to almost 30 bigs. Give an ace to him. Turn is a four. I had a big fucking hand, let me tell you. <laughs> did nothing. Sam did not pull the ace. Ace nine actually had the same hand. Really? Joey did though. He had like queen nine oh. The other two jacks. So you're extra live. River card. It's a seven. Good luck, guys. That does it for Justin Saliba. Adds this to a 10th place finish in event number four. Finishes in fifth, $58,100. 58 points in the race for the cut. Oh. For Joey here, some trouble perhaps for Sabro. Jackson looks at a 90k bet. And he does call. Oh no. The turn wow. is the case 10. Here. Understandably Hopefully. so. He would lead with his trips, his draws. Once in a while, an ace X type holding. Here he has absolutely run into it. Oh. Nice one. 
Hans. River Blank. 820k in this pot. Sabral. About 1.4 million. Joey has about 1.25 million. Check. 240. 240. Well, Weissman has opened the door for that check raise, going small here on the river. The all in, and he'll be met with the snap call. Well, it's going to take a while to get all these chips in, but we can start moving them. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Such a quirky character. Why is it as the ace king of clubs? It's 100. I'm just thankful he didn't keep one chip and one time extension right. behind. It's so little, I don't Otherwise even have the option to save a chip. I could have limped like went through, but <laughs> that's true. It's either limp in or this. Three hundred. Three hundred thousand. King suited up against Jack 10. Sovereign trying to get up to 320k, about five bigs. This is the last hand at level anyway, right? You could have left the mic on. We're done? All right. He's just out of here. There he goes. He doesn't even need to see the result. He's either doubling right, up. Well, there he, okay. Nice. Take care, might, Mr. Biscuits. My choice after break might not. As it comes King Queen Deuce. Heck of a sweat. Flops he's the open ender <laughs> with that door space. His hand's dead, I assume. There he is. Just yeah. taking a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure we've seen this one before. Deuce on the turn. Savril needs an ace or a nine. Doesn't find it on the river. Good he's gone Sam. anyway. What do you say? It's a good game, Sam. Good game, Sam. Good game, Sam. Good game, Sam. Good game. He played it great. Yeah. Out and forth for almost $79,000. <laughs> Jams. How much is it? Weissman asked for a count. Be surprised if he could get away from tens here. And that's going to put him in fantastic shape for a massive pot. There's that call. Here we go. 6.3 million in the middle. Zachy with sixes, Weissman with tens. Chidwick, very interested observer. Big pay jump from third to second. In the amount of about 42K. He's close to that. We're close to heads up. Queen, queen, three. Up to Zaki, who looks for a six. Can he find it on the turn? He cannot. He will need it on the river, or his day is done, and we are heads up. River card. Oh, oh, it is a six! Oh, no! How? Finds a way wow. and takes the chip lead. Justin Zaki. A miracle on the river. Nine. There's been 29. This and, is the 29th. And carry his cash. So coming into to this, he's essentially cashed half of yeah, the Yeah, that's, that's pretty wild. Chidwick jams here wow. on the button with the king queen. Iceman appears to be an interested observer. And we can see why he has ace queen here.
All in. Goes with it. Let's see if we got something good here. One <laughs> good Let's sweat for Zaki. Nope. Chidwick will be all in and at risk. Can way behind here with the King Queen against Joey Weissman's East Queen. Chidwick can find a way. He's back up to more than 20 bigs. Otherwise, we are heads up. Six four, nothing doing for Chidwick save a backdoor straight draw to chop. Needs a king. It's not there on the turn. Needs to be there on the river or his day is done. And that will indeed do it for Stephen Chidwick. Out in third in his first cash of this cup series for about $108,000. Six figures. No surprise. Chidwick, another top three finish at one of our major series. Jeff, calling it right now. Okay. We will see him again in another final table here at the Poker Go Cup. 350. 350. Weissman bumps it up to 350. Calls. Six, five, deuce. Set of sixes for Joey. A couple backdoor draws for Justin. Joey loves to see this. on the turn though. and we'll fire. He's trying to represent that maybe, maybe he can have a straight as played. But 350 on the flop, 350 again here. Kind of telling the story of, hey, Joe, you might have to call for your entire stack come the river. That's exactly what seems to be leading towards Fathom Joey going away with top set anytime soon and perhaps not even on the river, no matter the texture. There's the check call on the turn. But more than 1.5 behind. Quad sixes on the river. Well, not certainly bad. not going away now. <laughs> not bad. Oh boy, what a world! 
What a hand for Weisman. Zeki has set it up to potentially shove the river with nothing. There's the check. Let's see if that jam comes. He might go for it, Jeff. He's trying to tell a story that he had a straight. He had like four or five. It's not for all of Weissman's chips, but it is for most. At least save himself 400K or so. One last look. Yep, got yep, all still, the yep, every six in the deck. Uh huh. This is a cool feeling. All in. All in. There's the jam. There's the snap fold and. We are just about even now. Weissman will limp in here with the 9-7 off. here versus Joey's top pair. Weissman in a little trouble here. That's a couple backdoor draws. But of course find the nine. Seven seventy five. The raise here is the seven seventy five. Does Justin choose to, to just get it in now? See a turn. Go on. Says, let's go. There's the all in. Call. There's the call, and here we go. Justin Zaki close to closing this one out. Intriguing turn cards. Besides a nine, of course, for Wiseman. 5.9 million in this pot. Zachy <laughs> got there on Wiseman earlier. Can Wiseman do the same against Justin? Oh, yes, he my. can! Nine on the turn! Just like that, Zachy relegated to just two outs to win the tournament. Needing a three for the win. No. Joey regains the chip lead. No problem. Just buries it right away. There it is on the wall, 125K, 250K, 250K. Big blind Ante and Justin with two kings to kick this level off. Oh, and Joey wow. with ace-queen. Okay. Here is the collision we have been waiting for. All in? Cool. This There's the all in. There's the call. Big hands? I have a big hand. Our kings. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kings versus ace-queen. I've had like I've had so many fucking massive hands. Really? It's insane, yeah. If the kings hold, we have a winner. Justin Zaki looking for the biggest title of his career. 
pretty safe on the 10-7-3. As he has backdoor spades covered. Leaves Weissman looking for an ace. Running King Jack. Ooh, the turn is the five of spades, and that eliminates one of the aces from the list of outs that Joey has. Needs the ace of hearts or the ace of clubs, or this tournament is over. The river's a 10, and for the first time in this studio, Justin Zaki gets the job done. I regret that fold I made to you. Maybe. The winner of event five for more than $232,000. <laughs> Zaki earned it, came in one of the shorter stacks, walks out of here with all the chips and all the money. Weissman continues to have a solid yeah. performance inside the studio once again. He wins more than $149,000 for his second place finish, but there is the champ representing Tampa quite well, I would say. Out this final table. Yeah. Now it's prime to make a run at the cup. A look at our final results. Presented by Octopi Poker. Zachy's name on top. Weissman in second. Steven Chidwick eliminated in third. Sam Sabro in his ninth career poker go cup cash out in fourth. Justin Saliba out in fifth. And Joris Raus from the Netherlands eliminated in sixth place. So there it is for Justin Zaki can lift up that trophy and can smile as he jumps into the top five on the leaderboard in the race for the Poker Go Cup. Congratulations that on like that a trophy. Shake yeah. up there. First PGT win of his career. Hit the music and let us move on as the price point increases to fifteen thousand dollars tomorrow 4 p.m eastern 1 p.m pacific time final table coverage of event number six as the poker go cup enters its stretch run for our entire crew for brent hanks i'm jeff platt thank you all so much for watching we'll see you next time at the 2024 poker go cup